He's a fascinating guy. I mean, he's kind of a quiet ego among large egos. That was his whole role during World War II, dealing with Montgomery, Churchill, oh my God, Patton. And he's, but he's also, he has a kind of a quiet strength too. Even capturing his voice is a very difficult thing because it's somewhat high pitched, but at the same time, it has, it has resonance. So it's an interesting character for me. It's not necessarily somebody who thinks that I would right off the bat be playing. A lot of people say, you could play Truman. Sure. But it's like, I guess it was, a, it's a, it was a tough job for me. My mother's from the South. My mother grew up in Pass Christian, which I always thought was in Louisiana until someone told me, that's Mississippi, sweetheart. But it's the idea of, and then we talked about with Lee, that people have forgotten how, what it was like 60, you know, or like now, almost 50 years ago, that what it is like, and you're going, it seems like, you know, 50 years ago, but you, go, you realize how intense it was, how violent it was, how provocative it was, and these changes which now, having a black president, you go, that's kind of the whole purpose of the script, to say, do you remember? Do you remember what it was like? Do you remember how violent, and do you remember the changes that were made by different presidents trying to, you know, drag us into the 20th century, and now into the 21st century? So, yeah, it's, that's kind of my role as the beginning of that process. Just keep going, find that thing you love because it's tough work. And my father gave me this advice when I said I wanted to be an actor, he said have a backup profession like welding. But I think if you can find that thing that really gives you joy, that'll be it. Because uh, for me it's always been comedy and stand up and, and acting too because of exploring behavior. But it's tough work, but it's, and it's, if you can get it, even better. <laughs>